Okay, we're going to do lesson 1-1, one -one, which is multiplication as repeated addition, which means we're just going to repeat addition over and over and over to understand what multiplication is. So equal groups are groups of objects that contain the same number of items. So this is super important for multiplication to understand that you are always dealing with equal groups. And what that means is that I have two groups here and the number in each group is equal. So I have three and three. Three and three, it's the same number here as the same number here, so therefore they're equal. Okay, so I have two equal groups of three counters. Okay, so therefore I can use multiplication for this and say I have two groups of three. Okay, so when you write a multiplication problem, this sign right here, this little teeny X, reads as groups of. So I have two groups of three. Two groups of three. Okay, so that's how we read this little multiplication sign is groups of, groups of. So here I have two groups of how many? I have two groups and how many are in each group? Three. Again, has to be the same number in each group for us to use multiplication. Okay, if I have two groups here, and this one has two, and this one has four, I cannot use multiplication. I cannot do two groups of four. I don't have two groups of four. I have one group of four and one group of two. If I wanna know how many I have total, I need to do two plus four, and that equals what? One, two, three, four, five, six. That equals six, okay? I cannot use multiplication here. I can't because I do not have equal groups. You have to have the same number here and the same number here. So I can then say I have two groups of three, which two groups of three is the same as three plus three, and that would equal six, okay? So let's take a look. We're gonna ignore this little part here. and We're gonna look at this little diagram here, okay? There are blank boxes. How many boxes do I have here? Write that right there. How many boxes do you have? You should have written three. You have three boxes. Now each box has one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven toys in that box. I want you to count the number of toys in this box and the number of toys in this box and write how many are in each box. Go ahead, pause the video, write how many are in this box and how many are in that box and then come back. Okay, so you should have counted seven in here and seven in there, right? So each box has how many toys? What are you gonna write right here? Should be a seven, okay? So now let's write out an addition problem. We would write seven plus seven plus seven, right? So seven plus seven plus seven. I want you to pause this and figure out what that answer is. What is seven plus seven plus seven? You can do like, Seven plus seven, get your answer, and then add seven more, okay? So you're doing seven plus seven plus seven, okay? Figure out what two of those are and then add that one and that one together. Okay, pause it and come back. Okay, you should have gotten 21. So can we write a multiplication equation to represent seven plus seven plus seven? Do we have equal groups? Yes, we do. We have seven, seven, and seven. And how many groups of seven do we have? Three. So three groups of seven equals 21. So what we're doing is we're saying we have three groups of seven, okay? So write an addition equation and a multiplication equation to represent the total number, okay? So now we have a, we're done with this and we're just gonna work with this a bar diagram here, okay? So our addition would be four plus four plus four plus four plus four. So let's write that. You, uh, you can pause it. Okay, and I want you to, to figure out what that is. You have to add four five times, so pause it and come back. Okay, you should have gotten 20. 
you added four plus four plus four plus four plus four, okay? You can do four and four is eight, and four and four is eight, plus your four. Eight plus eight is 16, plus four more is 20, okay? So now let's, we, we have equal groups. Each group has four, and we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So how many groups of four do we have? How many groups of four? Five groups of four, and that should equal 20, okay? Now on the back, but actually we can, we can do it just right here on the side, okay? Use the picture to describe the equal groups. Write an addition sentence and a multiplication sentence. So we can write an addition sentence for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six here and six here and six here and six here. So that's our multiplication problem. Six plus six plus six plus six. I want you to pause it and figure out what six plus six plus six plus six is. Okay, you probably know what six plus six is and six plus six is and then you can add those two up. So pause that and calculate it. Okay, 12 and 12. Okay, so it's going to equal 24. Now, we have equal groups. There's six, 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 six. If we had six, 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 and five, we could not do a multiplication problem. But since we have six, 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 we have equal groups. We know they are groups of six. So the question is, how many groups of six do you have? Four groups of six. And what do you think four groups of six is? It's gotta be the same as that, 24. Because you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 24. But chances are you're gonna make a mistake when you do that. You leave a lot of room for, for making a mistake with counting when you're trying to count 24 objects like that. So the multiplication is, is easier once we uh, memorize those facts. Okay, great job.